almost three quarters of planet Earth is ocean. An ocean that feeds us, gives us oxygen, captures our carbon pollution and regulates our climate. But over-exploitation of resources, climate change and habitat destruction are pushing the ocean to a tipping point beyond which it may never recover. Currently, only 7% of the ocean is protected from our damaging activities. But science tells us this isn't enough. Some argue that we cannot protect more ocean because we need to catch more fish. But this is a false argument. A leading team of marine scientists and economists have developed a new model that shows that more ocean protection preserves biodiversity and increases the supply of seafood. Using robust data sets, the team created a novel mapping tool that shows which areas of the ocean should be protected, from the high seas to countries' waters. The map overlays fishing grounds, biodiversity numbers and carbon storage. When put together, a heat map of global priority areas for protection becomes clear. Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs, have multiple benefits. Biodiversity is protected and marine life flourishes, increasing the biomass on average 600%. Fish grow larger, releasing more eggs. The fish and eggs spill over into the surrounding waters where they can be legally caught, adding millions of tons to the global catch. MPAs also help mitigate climate change. Each year, bottom trawling releases as much carbon dioxide from the sediment of the seafloor as the annual emissions of global aviation. In MPAs, the floor is left undisturbed, storing that carbon forever. The ocean is Earth's greatest treasure. To save it, we need to protect at least 30%. The use of this new mapping tool will enable governments the world over to concentrate their efforts on protecting the right places. We can now work smarter, together, to expand ocean protection for the benefit of humanity and the rest of life on our planet. <laughs>